Hi guys, in this video tutorial, we will be creating our OWIN startup class. What is OWIN in ASP.NET? OWIN is a middleware. It's an interface that is used between our web server and web application. So we will communicate with our web server using this OWIN middleware. Any request that is made within our application, the request will go through our OWIN middleware and then communicate with the database. And OWIN is supported by IIS, therefore it is possible for us to run OWIN enabled frameworks on ASP.NET application. But the good part of using OWIN, OWIN helps to self-host web APIs, which means you can run your web APIs on environments which are not IIS. So as we know that if we are running a Windows based application, the application will be running on an IIS server, web server, whereas if we are using OWIN middleware, it helps us to self-host our web APIs and it doesn't have to be any platform dependent anymore. So if you are running this application on a web server like Linux running Mono, you would still be able to use OWIN middleware. So that's one of the reasons why uh, developers prefer using OWIN middleware in their web APIs to communicate with the database. And lastly, ASP.NET Web API already uses OWIN and we can find it under Nugget packages which we installed earlier. So which means that we can self-host our Web APIs and do many cool stuff within our application using OWIN. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead and create our OWIN startup class. To create startup class, right click on your app underscore start folder and select add new item. Search for Oven Startup class, select it, and name your class as startup.cs. For Oven enabled applications, the first thing Oven is going to look is for a startup class. And within the startup class, it's going to run the configuration method. Every Oven application has a startup class where you specify components for the application pipeline. Within our configuration method of the startup class, we are going to configure the authorization information, uh, web API HTTP, the accessibility of our course, and JSON type formatters for our web API. Within my configuration method, the first thing that I'm going to create is my HTTP configuration object. And I will use this object to configure my HTTP for my web API. I'll name this object as HTTP config. Standard naming con conventions that most developers use. Now let's create the method that will generate the tokens for our web API. Let's call this method as it's a private method that can only be accessed within this class. Call this method as configure OAuth token generation. This method is going to generate and return the instances of our database context and our user manager. So we need to supply the app that we need to create the database instance and the user manager instance for. This app will be supplied by the host during the runtime. So first we need to create a database instance and second we need a or user manager instance. So to create the database instance for our app dot create pre oven context. The create pre oven context was will go and get the instance of our database. Now it's going to create the instance of a database. But the thing with create pre oven context is it only accepts static methods as the parameter 
And if you remember when we created our application.db context, I specified that we are we're going to use this static method in our Oven startup class. And that's the reason why we created this static method that will return a new instance of our application DB context. And now we are going to use that static method within our startup class for token generation. And for token generation, we have specified application db context.create as a parameter. Now we have to create an instance of a user manager as well because when we are going to use this instance to perform CRUD functionalities to manage our users within the application. So we need a user manager instance as well. So the create pre oven context will also create an instance of application user manager dot create and we had also created a, a static method that we can supply within the pre oven context that we can use to create the instance of our user manager here we need to specify that we are creating application user manager instance and that should fix this scribbly error now we are done with the auth token authorization all this method is going to do is just going to create an instance of db for a database and instance of user manager now we need a method that will configure our web api This method is also going to be private as it is only going to be accessed from this class Oven Startup and it's going to configure the web API for our HTTP configuration. So what does this method do? It will configure the JSON format as how you want the response and the request what type of format JSON and how you want this data to be formatted. You can specify it here. So let's first call the config dot map routes attribute route method and then so the routes have been configured we will then create a formatter for JSON how we want a JSON to be formatted we can specify it here to for let's create a variable college JSON formatter equals to config dot formatters it's going to get the media type for our formatters and then of type and specify the type the of type is uh, available under the library for system dot link so you need to give the reference and then what type of formatters you want to use you want to use json media type formatters which is also available under system.net.http formatting and then we need to call the first method it will get the first it will return the first element of the sequence now this variable json formatter will get the media type formatter now how do you want to use it we need to specify it here so json formatter then dot serialize settings we need to specify our serialize settings and call the contract dot contract resolver which will help us to get or set our contract resolver and to set our contract resolvers we need to use new we want to use the camel case property contract resolvers that will help us to resolve the format of our data in the form of camel casing pop 
property contract resolver so the first alphabet will uh, be uh, uh, ca capital or uppercase and for our key value pair so that's how the camel case property contract resolver will resolve the formatting for our data and that's it now let's call these two methods within our configuration method so let's run this method configuration and to specify uh, the app so the app will be provided at runtime then we need to call our configure web api method and here we need to specify an object of type http configuration so it can configure the objects we're going to specify this object and configure it after we have configured the object we are going to specify to use cores so app dot use cores and microsoft what type of cores microsoft dot oven since we're using oven dot cores and cores options that we want to use we want to allow all and lastly we need to use the app dot use web api and specify the http config object the type of api you want to use is the object that we just configured and that's it for our startup class and thank you for watching this tutorial